Welcome back to Broken Bobby's Transformation page. Uh, today, today we're going to touch on the whole Chase Bank scandal and being able to, uh, you know, withdraw endless amounts of money. Uh, it's a TikTok sensation right now. Everybody's talking about it. And I just want to touch on it. It's not going to be a super long video, but uh, I want to touch on it because I have some experience with this in my past life, if you will. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, around 1990, I became involved in drug addiction as well as uh, gang type activity and was trafficking drugs with others. And uh, it just ruined my life. And uh, luckily, I had some strong people that stood by me, and I was eventually able to turn it around after multiple trips to the county jail and a trip to prison. Uh, I just want you to know, if you're thinking about getting clean, you can do it. Uh, if I could do it, you could do it. And uh, hopefully, through this channel, you won't make the same mistakes that I did. So uh, if you're new, like, subscribe, comment, uh, do all the things that uh, help the channel and uh, share the video. So let's get into this chase thing. Like I said, this isn't going to be a real long one. None of my videos are really real long ones if you think about it. But uh, I've been seeing this thing on uh, TikTok a lot about people going and pulling out 20, 30, 40 grand when they don't have that kind of money in their account. And uh, full disclosure, I am not suggesting anybody attempt to do this as I explain what they're doing. Uh, don't do this. This is stupid. But uh, I guess they found a glitch in the Chase ATMs to where you could deposit like a personal check for however much and then turn around, around and withdraw it without any grace period for them to confirm that the funds are available. Uh, so as an example, you could write a check to yourself for uh, 20 grand or whatever and withdraw those funds. And uh, typically what happens with bank accounts these days is if you deposit a check or something, it's going to be at least the next day, if not more, uh, before those funds are available. A lot of times, even uh, when you deposit cash, they put a hold on that if it's larger amounts. So, yeah, th this glitch was determined that you could do this and you could turn around and like people are standing in front of Chase Banks flossing all this cash, which is stupid in the first place. Uh, you know, I mean... If you found the glitch, why are you sharing it, first of all? You're just, you know, you think that the feds and the local cops and all that don't watch these channels? Come on, stupid, wake up. <laughs> Anyways, back in the late 90s, I was doing a similar scam with the banks. And, uh, you know, I struggled with addiction for a long time. And sometimes it was good, my hustle was good. And sometimes it wasn't so good. And at a certain point, it wasn't so good. And I needed re-up money. Uh, re-up money basically is money to go buy more product to sell, if you don't know. And I didn't have it. So I came up with this wise idea. It was a holiday weekend, meaning that the bank was going to be closed for four days or, or three days or whatever it was. I think it was three days. Uh, you know, being that Labor Day just passed, maybe it was Labor Day weekend, I, I don't quite recall. But what I did was Friday night before midnight, I went and what I was doing was empty envelope deposits. And once again, I'm not suggesting anybody try anything like this. They've since fixed all of that stuff, so it typically don't work. That chase thing, I don't know what happened there. Somebody screwed up. I'm sure somebody got fired for that. But what I was doing was was getting these deposit envelopes like they used to have. And then I was cutting out pieces of paper in the, the image of dollar bills in the size, the dimensions, basically. And then I would 
put a stack of them in there and I would deposit and say, okay, I just deposited two grand. Then I would turn around and pull that money out. Now there were limits as to how much you could do per day. That's why it went on for the the entire three days. So Friday before midnight, for Saturday morning after midnight, basically. So later on that night, I did this. Sunday, I did it. Monday, I did it. And then Monday after midnight going into Tuesday, I did it again. And I ended up coming up on, I don't know, five, six, seven grand, whatever it was. And I got into a lot of trouble over that. I ended up catching a felony conviction. And I was lucky it stayed at the state level and that they didn't turn it into a federal case. So, uh, you know, I tell that story just to let you know. All these fads that you see on TikTok where, oh, the chase money glitch. Like, you can go pull out all this money and there's no consequences. There's always consequences. There, you know, nothing in this life is free. If you want something, go work for it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, nothing is free. There are no glitches. There are no uh, pots of golds at the end of the rainbow type of thing. Uh, you know, I did that. I was really messed up in the head at that time on methamphetamines. And obviously my judgment was very poor. And I paid the consequences for that. So, uh, you know, the thing is, nothing in life is free. So, just because someone, on, some idiot on TikTok tells you you can go and do this and there's no consequences, there's always consequences. And when you mess with the banks and their money, they will come after you. So now these people are having accounts with negative 30 grand. How are you going to pay that off? You know, they will come after you. They will garnish your wages. They will put you in jail because it's now payable on demand. Basically, they're going to say, well, we want our 30 grand back. Where's our money? Oh, you don't have it? That's cool. Turn around and cuff up. Now, we'll just hand it over to a federal prosecutor and you can go do 39 months in a federal penitentiary somewhere. Is it worth it? I mean, yeah, you're going to have a fun little party while that money lasts. You're going to run around. You're going to spend money like you got money or something. But can you really put a price on going to prison? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Even the guys that have it the best in prison, it's shit. You know, you don't control the doors. You can't leave when you want to. There are no women in there. Uh, you know, I mean, when once you're locked up, all of a sudden that Taco Bell that you drove by 30 times without ever stopping seems like a bucket list type of thing. <laughs> like watching commercials on TV for Carl's Jr., that shit looks good when you're locked up because th those trays are coming and that food is garbage. If you're lucky enough to have commissary in store, you know, those top ramens that are in demand in there, that stuff is garbage. I don't eat that shit anymore now that I'm a free man. You know, so it's just about making good decisions and not getting caught up in the latest fad and not thinking about the consequences. Play the tape through. You know, think about if I do X, what is Y? What's going to happen? What are the potential consequences? You know, are they going to send a federal marshal out to my house to lock me up? Well, maybe I shouldn't do that then. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everybody is having a great week. Uh, family, fitness, and freedom are the things that help me to get my life together, and they can help you as well. It's just a matter of building a strong foundation to get away from that addictive lifestyle and having good people around you who aren't interested in using drugs or drinking alcohol. So, uh, you know, that that's the blueprint, guys. Uh, it's just about making one good decision and repeating. So, uh, anyways, like I always say, don't look at the mountain. Just start climbing.